and welcome to my YouTube channel Cambys. In this video, we are going to discuss ozonolysis of alkynes. We will go through the following points: general introduction, mechanism, and different examples. So let's begin. Ozonolysis of alkynes, depending upon the nature of workup whether it is neutral or reductive and nature of alkyne whether it is terminal or internal give different products. We will first discuss ozonolysis of alkynes involving neutral workup. In this an alkyne is allowed to react with ozone and then the workup is done with water to get the product. When a terminal alkyne is allowed to react with ozone followed by neutral workup with water produces carboxylic acid and carbon dioxide. To draw the structure of products just break the molecule through the CC triple bond convert the internal carbon of alkyne into carboxylic acid and terminal carbon to carbon dioxide. When the alkyne is internal, two carboxylic acids are formed. To draw the products, break the molecule into two parts through the CC bond and convert one alkynic carbon to carboxylic acid to get one product and other alkynic carbon to carboxylic acid to get other product. Ozonolysis of alkynes using reductive workup. In this an alkyne is treated with ozone and then allowed to react with zinc or dimethyl sulfide or triphenylphosphine to produce product. Terminal alkynes when allowed to react with ozone followed by zinc or dimethyl sulfide or triphenylphosphine gave alpha keto aldehyde. To draw the product of this reaction just convert triple bond to single bond and connect each alkynic carbon with oxygen through a double bond. If the alkyne is internal then the product will be alpha diketone. Mechanism. In this segment, I'll first take you through the mechanism involving neutral workup. Alkyne and ozone react together via 3 plus 2 cycloaddition to produce primary ozonide, also called molozonide or 1, 2, 3 trioxole which undergoes ring opening like this to produce this species with carbonyl group on one carbon and carbonyl oxide on adjacent carbon. 180 degrees rotation of carbonyl group through the single bond gives another conformation which undergoes cyclization like this to produce ozonide. Now opening a four membered ring like this gives this anhydride. In the presence of water the anhydride gets hydrolyzed to produce carboxylic acid. So if R and R prime are the same then only one type of carboxylic acid is formed. If the alkyne is terminal then it leads to the formation of a carboxylic acid and formic acid. Here formic acid immediately gets oxidized to carbon dioxide. Mechanism involving reductive workup. In this case also there is the formation of ozonide. If we have reducing agent suppose triphenylphosphine it donates electron pair 
to peroxy oxygen due to this peroxy bond gets broken and formation of co pi bond occurs this is accompanied by breaking up this co bond formation of co pi bond and breaking up co single bond thus the whole process leads to the formation of triphenylphosphine oxide and this alpha diketone now let's go through examples the first example is ozonolysis of hex 1 ion involving neutral workup we have seen that under such condition carboxylic acids are formed since it is a terminal alkyne so it will give carboxylic acid and carbon dioxide to get the products structure cut the molecule into two parts through the triple bond since left part has five carbon chain so the product will be pentanoic acid and carbon dioxide ozonolysis of but 1 ion 1l cyclohexane involving neutral workup to get the structure of products cut the molecule into two parts through the triple bond and convert the alkynic carbon to carboxylic acid so the products will be cyclohexane carboxylic acid and propanoic acid ozonolysis of 2 butane involving reductive workup here we can see that there is the use of zinc so the workup is reductive in such conditions to draw the product convert the triple bond to single bond and then connect the alkynic carbons with oxygen through a double bond thus removal of triple bond from the reactant will give this four carbon chain since c2 and c3 are alkynic carbon in the reactant so connect c2 and c3 with oxygen atom through a double bond to get this product which is butane 2,3 diene another example this is also involving reductive workup since triphenylphosphine has been used to get the product structure convert the triple bond to single bond to get this skeleton and then connect the alkynic carbons with oxygen atoms through double bond thus the product is 1 phenyl propane 1 to diene presence of hydroxy groups in the reactant doesn't affect the outcome of reaction for example this molecule has two hydroxy groups and an alkyne when it is subjected to ozonolysis involving reductive workup using triphenylphosphine produces 4,5 dihydroxy pentane 2,3 diene that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video